Go on, treat yourself. <laughs> Nobody else will. <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, and I'm not the only one that thinks so. There's a man over there, I can't take his eyes off you. Hang on, we'll just angle this. You okay? Thanks. Look, I'm sure it's nothing. The last I heard, you were still in Malaysia. You want me to come round? Oh, that was quick. Rose. Hello, who is it? Rose. Hold on, Lenny. Rose, who's at the door? Rose. God. It was Miller. He's back. So what did he do, this Richard Miller? You mean his day job? Physics lecturer at ELA. Three dead girls are down to that man. Well, three as far as we know. There's usually more. Missing, presumed dead. None of the bodies were actually found. Just phone calls that they were forced to make to their families, explaining in great detail what he was doing to them. But how were you so sure that Miller was the abductor? Because all the girls were in his classes. One of his alibis was completely suspect. Plus, the hair of Amanda Day, one of his victims, found in his car. You were very close to getting Miller convicted, but the case was thrown out for entrapment. My entrapment? Got me thrown out of the police. I lost everything. Well, what evidence did all this entrapment get you? Well, he was starting to open up. Oh. He was starting to open up, was he? He's just being narky because he's got entrapment images running through his head. Shut up, Cam. No, it was him. I know it was him. The point is, Miller's back. He's just pocketed one million pounds in compensation. That upsets me. And he's stalking Rose. So what's the plan? The plan is what it always was. To find out what happened to those girls and... make sure it never happens again. I'm going to meet him tomorrow. Tell you what her alias was on the first Miller up, I mean. No. Louise Taylor, antiques trader. I wish she was on the road show. It was an alias, Callum. What do you think? I love that program. The bit where they tell you how much the bars or the paintings worth. People say it's pension the TV, but I don't. Spazzed out on a Sunday or the remorse of guilt kicking in. You need a bit of road show. We're on our way. I'm gonna be looking after you. Callum's gonna be checking out Miller's car. Songs of praise, or I can take a leave. Makes me dead paranoid. Hello, stranger. Miller's just arrived, Count. Thanks for coming, Rose. Well, it's funny calling you that. What do you want from me? Stalking me, ringing my doorbell, running away? Please, you make me sound like I'm 12. Leaving packages on my doorstep. I wanted to come up to you, but I, I, I was just nervous. So why now? Why track me down now? Well, I wanted to explain. No, that's not right. 
I needed to explain. Explain what? That whatever you believed, whatever you still believe, I'm completely innocent, Rose. I have no idea what happened to those three girls. They found Amanda Day's hair in your car. I know, I know, I know. I gave the girl a lift in my car. I, I explained that a million times. So what, you want me to feel sorry for you? Don't you think that my life hasn't been destroyed by this case? Well, then we have that in common as well. As well as what? As well as what we shared. I was just doing my job. What we shared was a lie. Then you're a very good liar, Rose. A to Z, breath freshener on the dashboard. Visors down, she's been looking at reflection. Parked for two hours. Anything else? One second. <sighs> no murder kit as such. Mail. Addressed to Crown Plaza Hotel. Richard Miller. Serial killer. Catch you. <laughs> Get down to the hotel. So where have you been? Far East. I had to get away from the press after the trial. And why are you back? To see you. Oh, I'm to collect my compensation. I'm having a, a property done up here. Property's not such a good investment right now. Well, I might not be back for a few years. I expect the property market will recover as well. Maybe. So, uh, what, what do you do now? Cosmetics advisor. That's a... It's a real shame, Lou. I, I, I mean that. Rose. Rose. Everything about this case is... It's terribly sad. What are you doing? You're trying to open the door with your credit card. <sighs> Look, I've left my card in the room. I've eaten some dodgy shellfish and there's no way I'm going to make it to the reception. Except it's not your room. <sighs> the guy's room, this is. He's playing away from home. His wife's pregnant. I'm not doing it for money. She's a mate. She's having a really hard time. Please. You got three minutes. Nick anything, and I'll know. find out where those girls are. You know, if we find one body that's his DNA, that's a conviction. He's not gonna suddenly confess to you, Rose. He knows you're a copper. No, he thinks I'm an ex-copper, damaged and skin, and I'm going back to the original profiler on the case. Find out what he thinks. Do you wanna know what I think? You really need me to answer that. Let's say you're right. Miller's a wrong one. Who's only trapping who here? So he wants to see you again. That's interesting. What are you going to do? What do you think? You profiled Miller. I think you should stay away from him, Rose. You got in too deep the last time. It was my choice to sleep with him, and it was the right choice. I was always in control. You want me to tell you he was definitely guilty? I can't, I'm afraid. But what's your guess? I mean, including hindsight. Whoever killed those girls... Got off on the torment they caused. The calls he forced them to make to their families were probably his point of maximum enjoyment. Gosh, how could 
anybody. Is Miller that man? Not a closed case, to my mind. Oh, I know he's guilty. The important thing here is that the last time you tangled with him, you ended up in a very bad place. You lost your job, you were vilified in the press, you were deeply depressed. Are you sure you're ready to go back there again? Calvin and Mercer will be listening in. And where will you be? I'll be around. I want you to change Mercer and your phone to work. Just in case he needs to make contact. 32 caliber, 7 round capacity. Small enough to fit in your handbag. You don't have to do this. I know. I'll stay where John can see me. I want you to be careful, okay? It was an unconventional marriage, wasn't it? Who cares if the world didn't understand us? A bunch of small-minded bastards. <laughs> Lenny Douglas, he was the worst. Oh, yeah. He hated me. He is a shit. It's quite a shock to find out you've been married. What kind of pervert asks his ex to sleep with their prime suspect? He didn't. That was my idea. If that's true, then you really think I'm guilty? Can I be honest? It would be a nice change, yeah. I don't know anymore. After it was all over, I, um, I had lots of tests. Counselling, psychology. Anyway, the thing that they were most obsessed with was whether I had developed genuine feelings for you. They went on and on about it. What was the conclusion? What do you think? Listen, there's uh, something I need to show you. So what's your excuse this time? Same old Rockford Files number. What are you listening to? Master's at work. Yeah, it's like a tell at a mile off. That girl I said to myself, perfect mix between class and filth. You cheeky bastard. 100% Latin house, babe. No, I want to be a DJ, but cost a bomb, so... Get some decks if you want. Give us your number. My dad's six foot two, very protective. Yeah, well, my missus is five foot three, and very scary. Go on, look. Some of the girls are going to Ibiza. Have you been? Mm, it's amazing. He asked me to join them, but my dad's kicking off about it. Might just go anyway. I'm sick of him telling me what to do and skivvy in here. Do it. Oh, I better go. Well, I'll be here a while, so if you've got any biscuits, go and spare. Right. I'll come and see him on my break. All right. Nothing with raisins, though. I'm not a member of the Dried Fruit Fan Club. <laughs> <laughs> Got an admirer. Shall we? It's a uh, right. Very 
embarrassed thing, I can't find my key. I, uh, I didn't ask you up here to sleep with me. I understand that would be a bit of a leap for you. Why then? Give me a hand. Ten grand from my compensation. I realized when we spoke the other day, um, I wasn't the only victim of all this. Take it. I don't want anything in return. I'm leaving for Malaysia tomorrow. Why are you going so soon? What have I got to stay for? Just give me a minute. money but thank you well kiss me goodbye at least it's rose or louise With Boland gone, I thought you might have got yourself a proper office. No, that would be tiresome. Having to throw people out all the time. <laughs> Why have you not gone away? We had a deal. All debts cancelled. How's the Miller case going? Revisiting old failures. Isn't that a spectacular waste of time? Not half as much as this. <laughs> you were made for bigger and better things, Len. Come work with me. Perhaps it's a public school thing, but which part of no do you not understand? Look, what I'm saying, Len, is every time I get a controversial op that I can arm's length it to your unit. You want control. I already have that. You just haven't realised it yet. What the hell were you doing? Working. Right, did he open up again, did he? One, I got him to stay in the country. Had he left tomorrow, we wouldn't have stood a chance. And two, any doubts of his guilt have gone. So you did have doubts? He's playing head games. 
and he keeps referring to me and him as the victims in all of this. Isn't that forgetting just a few important people? Well, that's it. Another great psychological insight. Why don't you just admit it? You enjoy playing all the games, not just the ones going on inside your twisted little heads. Perry, you deserve each other. I am doing a job. It's dangerous. It's unpleasant. And I'm sick of you judging me for it. So go home and polish your gun or whatever it is that you do. Rose. He could come down at any minute. I can't be seen talking to you. They make you suffer for your nicotine rush these days, don't they, Paula? <laughs> what are you still doing there? A drink. Where's Miller? Not in his room, I check. Okay, well, seeing how you're there, I want you to wait until he comes back. I want to make absolutely certain he's all tucked up in bed before I give Rosie all clear. Excuse me, would you mind just keeping an eye on my drink while standing in Paprasigi? Needed that, apart from the disapproving looks. So, as someone who's never been stood up before, how long do you think I should sit here feeling like a lemon? I wouldn't know. You're always this chatty. Bit of a bad day. Right, me too. I could do with a bit of an ego boost, to be honest, but I guess I picked the wrong man. Sorry. I'll get this. Thanks. Um, I'd love another glass of red wine, please. Actually, no, cancel that. Tequila. She'll have both. Think your date's arrived? <laughs> Okay, um, Ripley and Alien. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Sarah Connor. I told you I don't watch many films, I don't uh, So, who are your female icons? This is outside the world of popular science. <laughs> it's a screen icon. Okay, right, come on. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I quite like Ingrid Bergman. She is very beautiful. Yeah. Mm. It's far too subtle to down tequilas in a bar with a complete stranger. Maybe so. Or to show that she was just dying to drag him outside where there weren't so many people around. Going outside for a cigarette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Get a room. No. Let's just leave it here. This is how I want to remember us. What's up? Carol's gone missing. Paula Abbott, chambermaid at the hotel. My dad went to pick her up from work and she wasn't there. Maybe she's just gone off with friends or something. It's a possibility. My dad said they'd rowed in the morning about her going to Ibiza. What else do we know? That's all we have so far. I talked to that girl. She did say she was going to Ibiza. Chances are this was yours then. She called tonight. It was just noises though, no message. Well, what time? 1842. Miller had left by then. Mercer was still there, though. When did Miller show? Not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Well, he was there when I left. I checked the reception. What happened to your neck? Nothing. Get back and make sure he's still there. A girl's gone missing. John Mercer. What do you want? I'm arresting you on suspicion of rape. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioning something which you later rely on. He ripped open his shirt. So how exactly was I pinning her up against the wall? I tried to get away, but he was too quick. He called me a dirty bitch and told me I wanted it. I was terrified. I tried to push him away. I think I scratched him. It was consensual. You think if you buy a woman a drink, it entitles you to sex? What? You're telling me it doesn't? Do you think rape is a joke? I didn't do that. Do you enjoy violent pornography? No comment. Why aren't you in full-time work? No comment. Don't worry, Mr. Mercer. I'm going to be all over you like a cheap suit. I'm going to shine a light on every single part of your miserable life, and I'm going to make sure you go to prison where you belong. No comment. There's no anonymity for rapists. It's really not that easy, John. What, you think I walk up to the desk sergeant and say, excuse me, officer, the man you've got in there, he's no rapist, no, he's a murderer, who I had released early from prison, so he'd become part of a deniable unit that I happened to run. They think I'm guilty, you know, and I don't blame them. Question. What were you doing with her in the first place? You were meant to be watching Miller. They're gonna look into my history, Lenny. If I were you, I'd pull all the little strings they usually pull and get me out of here fast. Where's Rose? I don't know. She's not answering her phone. And if you weren't banged up in here in a rape charge and I wasn't running around trying to sort it all out, we could be out there looking for her. I was set up! Yeah? By whom? Think! 
Who would want to teach us a lesson about control? Naturally, you're worried for the girl. If Miller's innocent this time, and Paula Rabbit has just gone away with friends, then... Would you like him to be innocent? Well, you think I have feelings for him? It wouldn't be so shocking. My feelings come from the pain of those families. Trying to stop the images and the thoughts. Trying to stop yourself from inventing the agonies of somebody that you love. So you're suggesting that I might have feelings for him and Lenny is suggesting that he might You be still see Lenny Douglas? Oh, now and then. I had quite a bust up with him over the Miller Op. Said you should be pulled off it as soon as the lawyer warned us that the case was in trouble. That the evidence would be inadmissible. You were warned? And I wasn't told? That's Lenny, isn't it? No lawyer spoils his op. Well, Lenny let me go on while it was all blowing up around us. Hi, it's Rose. I thought we could meet up again, if you want to. Yeah, of course I'd like to. In fact, uh, I've got something to show you. What? <laughs> no, 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 it's a surprise. Come see me. OK, where are you? In Stratum. OK, give me the address. It's 80 Eastley Drive. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Doctrine, then. Huh? Great book. You've got to hand it to the Yanks just, just for having the balls to pull it off. Get him out. <sighs> Pretty girl, Hannah. I can see why you found it hard to resist. Get him out. Yeah, I can do that. Then do it. Ask nicely. Please. Call the dogs off, John Mercer. I warned you not to cross me, Len. Next time I have to give a lesson, it won't come with a reprieve. If you keep defying me, I'll destroy you. Where is he? Bastard who sent me up. We'll deal with Simmons later. Miller's not in his hotel. Rose still has answered the phone. Get him. Money pad. What do you think? Oh, could do with some improvements. Well, I told you my builder was a bit of an idiot. Go on. <laughs> Keep walking. What are you doing? Trust me. Trust me. Ta da! Never say I don't do romance. You know, in Malaysia, when I even thought about killing myself, I never stopped thinking about you. You want to open this? <laughs> so what should we toast? Truth. Truth.
c'è Crimio. This must have been the last thing she was looking at before she went out. A to easily drive Stratton. Let's go. Something. No, it's nothing. Oh, <laughs> What's he mean then? Look, it was. <laughs> you came to see me with this? I am. Uh, I always carry it. Look, it, it's little more than a pea shooter. You're lying. I mean, who are you? Hey! Do you ever stop lying? Yes. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. Rose, whoever you are, have your silly gun back. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> Come on. I'll never convince you, will I? Hey? <laughs> You're never gonna believe I'm innocent. Look, if you don't believe me, take the gun. Please. Take it. <laughs> Paula! <laughs> Paula! <laughs> Meet Rose. <laughs> She's the reason why you're here. She's the reason why you're gonna get very hurt. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, so you had this all planned out. This is what you came back to do. No, no, no. It's just, you know, I wanted to see you again. To do something to you. For what you tried to do to me. The mind you see. It stops working. And I enjoyed thinking about raping and oh. torturing and finally killing someone in front of you so much that I thought, oh, oh why not? Oh, why not? Is that how the mind of a sexual psychopath works? Well, I can't speak for anybody else, Lou. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. Oh, please, just let her go. This She's innocent. Piggy. Take your anger out on me. This little piggy went. Oh, 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 oh. Sit down! Girl. Yeah, yeah, I admit that. I haven't really harmed her. It was just a stunt, really, to teach you a lesson. I wasn't going to do anything. Yeah, I'll probably get a few years at worst, but you know what? I'll set up my compensation and uh, you'll never know anything more. That's part of your pleasure. The suffering of others. You tried to get inside my head once before, Rose, Louise, whatever your name is. It didn't work then, did it? The more I ask, the more you enjoy it. But you'll never tell, will you? I've got nothing to tell. Well, if I finally believe you about that, well, then you've just taught me out of the only good reason for keeping you alive. Ross! Back off! I don't need you.
You lied to me, Lenny. You let me down. Shooting was in the news. What are they saying? Suspected vigilante attack, motivated by fury at the compensation award. What's well, true in your case? Oh, Rose, please. Is it true what Bob Winter said? That the lawyer said my evidence was inadmissible, but you just let me carry on? Bob Winters is an arsehole. You're only ever interested in people, aren't you? Never truly care about them. Maybe in the end that's why I stopped loving you. You, that's why you never did. Is it true? Yes. And I got it wrong. I got it badly wrong. I came back for you, Rose. I always come back for you. We didn't find the girls then. The police are looking again. All the places Mel and Mike have gone, we will not give up looking for them. Ever. Rose, no, we... just go. you up. Married. Two kids. I'm thinking of letting the husband know what his wife does for a living. Well, our battle's with Simmons, isn't it? Yeah, well, that won't be easy. I want you to go and see Rose. Why? You can help her, I can't. Clubs. Thought you might like some company. Did Lenny send you? Yeah, I like to do what he says. I got honey trapped. When will you learn? Uh, thought it might cheer you up. Was she very pretty, John? If she was Simmons' girl, I'd imagine she'd have the social graces to go with it, right? She lucked out with a soft target like you. Yeah, Simmons is going to find out just how soft a touch I am. You know, I felt nothing for him. I was just doing my job. It's OK. It's finished now. It's over. Sean O'Driscoll's over from Dubai. Your job is to find him and kill him. Babe! Oh, 
I brought John into the world of cage fighting, introduced him to Connor O'Driscoll. Hold on a minute, John. There's a man who wants to meet you. You said you needed some money. You're offering me my first fight. Come on, then. I'd turn around if I were you. Oh, yeah? You reckon? Oh! You've never loved me. I've always loved you. Just never been good at saying it. Don't! 